I'm inspired to share with you a concept or a movement or a journey in a way that, that describes how it feels. Because essentially everything is energy and whether we know it or not, what we think and feel every day is what we create and what we collectively co-create. And so purity of heart has come into being as a result of a few people coming together that share a sim similar vision and that as individuals are really activated in the healing of the earth and honoring of all people, sacred sites, ancestral paths of lineage. And um, if you have to think about what does purity of heart feel like, I think that we could easily say purity of heart feels like presence or awareness or connection. And essentially, as resonant beings in a, an electromagnetic universe, it's all about how we feel and how what we do makes us feel. And so, with this in mind, we are presenting a 28-day journey, a, a, uh, an overland camping journey around South Africa, visiting 13 sacred sites along the way, meeting with indigenous people. And the reason for this is that as we travel, we meet with local groups and communities. We collaborate and make music together. And in these concerts that uh, will be presented from some of the sacred sites of South Africa, we are able to share a sense of presence and a sense of awareness and a sense of connection with people that are called to join us because what we've come to know is that really what we focus on we create and so if we want to heal the earth we need to go and spend time with or in those places that are still natural and resonant and healthy we need to know what healthy earth feels like we need to know that we need to exchange energy with those places and if we want to be in touch with our ancestry and those who came before and the wisdom that, that, that came along the line. We should visit the sacred sites and sit in the caves and open ourselves to that sense of spirit in those spaces under the sky. And if we want to journey through life as if life is sacred, then we should journey, we should travel together, we should share our journey with others that resonate similar intentions or are hopeful for the same things. And if we want to be grateful and, and secure in life, we should put ourselves on that journey and surrender ourselves to an unfolding that is natural in this in this life in this reality a constant unfolding of beautiful spirits of the collection and and um, harmony and balance of every spirit and every person and form of life together it's like a an immaculate healing song or the song of the stars and purity of hearts 
would like to spend a month living close to the land with fellow seekers and travelers, with fellow musicians, visiting communities, talking to people, sharing the experience and allowing ourselves to be touched by the beauty of it all because really there is so much beauty and I really feel that as I meet and come to know more people along my journey and in my work I really know that what I'm saying is being spoken about more and more people are having a far deeper sense of awareness of their connection to all things and what they want out of life, how they see something far greater for us in the future than we live now in the present. And so this is an invitation to joining us on this journey, the Sacred Sites Resonant Music pilgrimage around South Africa in September and it's from the 3rd to the 30th of September and we are collaborating with the Sacred Sites Foundation of South Africa and visionary artist, musician Mike Puskas from Australia and his band Transference and several other incredible musicians from around the world, from South Africa. At each stop, at each, at each sacred site, we are going to be meeting with uh, indigenous tribal elders and also co-create with uh, local musicians as well. And the music will be tuned to the healing resonant frequency of love. And the intention is to resonate that peace and love, that knowing, that remembering of connection, that remembering that we are a part of all of this and can never be separated really. And um, just tuning in with that vibration and send it out along the song lines of Africa and um, the journey will be documented and we are excited to allow everybody's role or part in this journey to to be expressed so that people that aren't able to make it are able to sense how it feels being there, how it feels on the journey, and how it feels living in, in a sacred way. And uh, in my experience, I recognize that every journey is unique and unfolds and takes on a life of its own, depending on who is uh, part of the journey. But this really feels to me like it's a, it's a, it's a start in the right direction because there is so much beauty out there and if we want more of it, we need to go and see. We need to go and honor that and pay our respects. A very important aspect of this journey is our work to do with Ubuntu planet and the Ubuntu liberation movement. And Ubuntu is collaborating with Purity of Heart and Sacred Sites Foundation of South Africa and Transference and other, other musicians, etc. Because Ubuntu is about that. Ubuntu is about people. Ubuntu is about honoring the beauty in others. Ubuntu is recognizing that. 
we have everything we need right here and right now and Ubuntu is trusting that everything will be fine as long as we work together and and tread lightly with one another and on the earth and if you're not able to um, come along the journey 